in this video we will review the ultrasound guided distal upper extremity nerve blocks let's begin first by having a look at the radial nerve block the radial nerve originates from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus and enters the posterior compartment of the arm it spirals obliquely around the humerus that is the spiral groove and pierces the lateral intermuscular septum to descend between the brachialis and brachioradialis it then divides into superficial and deep branches above the lateral epicondyle to descend into the forearm for a typical block we require various equipments these may include clohexidine for aseptic precautions sterile gloves a tegaderm an ultrasound machine you may wish to use a peripheral nerve stimulator sterile ultrasound jelly a 22 gauge short tip blunt needle and required local anesthetics and sedatives it is best to block the radial nerve before it divides into its branches that is superficial and deep distal to the spiral groove for this the arm is placed with the shoulder adducted and internally rotated and the elbow flex so that it lies on the chest this allows for the best access to the posterior lateral aspect of the humerus a linear transducer is placed near the spiral groove to identify the humerus next upon distal scanning the radial nerve is usually seen as a triangular hyperechoic structure coming off the humerus after raising the skin wheel using a local anesthetic a 22 gauge usually about 50 mm needle is introduced in plane or occasionally out of plane aiming to enter the facial compartment next to the radial nerve An injection of 5 ml of local anesthetic is made after negative aspiration to encircle the radial nerve circumferentially. Now let's review the ultrasound guided median nerve block in the forearm. The median nerve is formed by the lateral root of median and the medial root of median nerve from the brachial plexus. In the arm it passes lateral to the brachial artery. crossing it anteriorly finally to lie medial to it just above the elbow joint in the forearm it passes between the two heads of pronator teres and then travels between the flexor digitorum superficialis and flexor digitorum profundus for a mid forearm block of the median nerve the patient's arm is positioned straight and supinated A linear transducer is placed on the ventral aspect of the mid forearm where the median nerve is visible in the fascial plane between the flexor digitorum superficialis and flexor digitorum profundus. A 22 gauge 50 mm short bevel block needle is introduced in plane or occasionally out of plane and aimed at the facial plane next to the median nerve. An injection of 5 ml of local anesthetic is made after negative aspiration to cover the nerve circumferentially. Let's now review the ulnar nerve block. The ulnar nerve originates from the medial cord of the brachial plexus and descends medial to the brachial artery to emerge behind the medial epicondyle. it enters the anterior that is the flexural compartment of the forearm to lie between the flexor carpi ulnaris and the flexor digitorum profundus this relationship is helpful in identifying the nerve for a mid forearm level block of the ulnar nerve the patient's arm is positioned supine a linear transducer is placed just above the wrist on its medial aspect to identify the ulnar artery Proximal scanning shows that the ulnar nerve is usually seen as an oval hyperechoic structure immediately medial to the ulnar artery. After raising a skin wheel using a local anesthetic, a 22 gauge 50 mm short bevel block needle is introduced in plane or out of plane, 
aiming to enter the fascial plane next to the ulnar nerve. An injection of 5 milliliters of local anesthetic is made after negative aspiration to cover the nerve circumferentially.